Game Beauty is one of those rare brands that happens to coordinate a love of makeup and beauty with something else. And in this case, they kind of have a tendency to coordinate with games, as the name suggests, so things like Dungeons and Dragons, like all that sort of thing. But they also kind of coordinate with things like anime and manga and their newest collection, which is coming very, very soon, is Attack on Titan. Now, if you don't know, it's a fantastic TV show. I love it. I've only seen two seasons of it. I'm very, very behind, but I highly, highly recommend it as a TV show. But this is coming out super, super soon. Let's discuss this new collection that they revealed over on their Instagram. They have revealed that this is, by the way, a pre-order, which is starting on Thursday, the 8th of February at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But you will get your products sometime around April, May, because mid-April is when they're doing their shipping. And it's quite a curated collection. We have three eyeshadow quads and we have four lip glosses. And of course, they've had it so that you have your bundles of everything together, the shadows together or the lip bundles together. And there's, of course, a gift box set as well. So the most expensive thing is $106. That's the full gift box set, including the fabulous little box that it all comes in. And as I said, it is very, very curated. We have the Maria Quad, the Rose Quad and the Cine Quad and they're all retailing for $18 each. There's the Erin, the Mikasa, the Levi and the Armin lip glosses, which are each $15. But you could bundle the shadows together for $49 or the lip glosses together for $55. So we'll start off by talking about the Maria Quad. The full title of this is Maria Wall Shadow Quad and it's called Hope Blooms Beyond the Breach. And if you've watched the show, you'll know what that means. They have all of these like little nods to the show over on the website, which I think is just so, so smart. So the four shades that they have is Home, which is a calming matte cornflower blue. There's Heart, which is a sheer duochrome lemon yellow with a subtle blue shift. And they say that that symbolizes the hope that blooms even in the shadows. Again, a reference back to the show. There's Hole, which is a grounding matte walnut brown and Hope, which is a shimmering baby blue. The next one then is Rose Quad and its full title is Rose Wall Shadow Quad Where Freedom Blossoms. And again, we're looking at four shades. There's Choice, a refreshing satin salmon red. Chance, a calming matte light turquoise blue. Chain, a whimsical sheer duochrome light coral red with a citrine shift. And they say that that symbolizes the delicate bonds of humanity intertwined with moments of sparkling joy. I mean... You can tell that the people who own this brand care about the IP that they have. And then the final shade that they have is Change, a mesmerizing shimmery imperial red. I mean, the fact that they've kept this down to be $18 and they've included a duochrome in it, that's pretty darn good. And then the very final quad that we have is the Cinna Wall Shadow Quad, where wisdom meets wonder. And they have the shade Wall, which is a grounding matte deep brown. Wonder, a vibrant satin mango tango orange. Wake, a captivating duochrome metallic orange with a subtle earth brown shift, which symbolizes the ever-changing world where wonder and wisdom intertwine. And finally, there's Wish, which is a warm satin honey yellow. Now, I suspect they went for like a satin honey yellow there because that sort of a shade of a yellow is very, very difficult to make in a matte, but it's a little bit easier to get that sort of a shade in a satin and have it perform. So I think that's quite a smart manufacturing move on their part. Then we have the four lip glosses. So this one is Erin Jaeger Lip Gloss and it's a bold brick red. It's apparently smooth and comfortable and gives you a high shine finish. Now, keep in mind that this is all limited edition. So if you really want this, you're best to get it ASAP. The next gloss then is Mikasa Ackerman Lip Gloss and it's a radiant ruby red. And again, all the same sort of things that they're saying with the previous one. Can we just say packaging, 10 out of 10, done so, so well. Then we have Levi, and this is quite different because yes, it is a bittersweet shimmer red according to what they're saying here, but there's a shimmering silver flake in there. So it's quite different to the previous ones. I actually feel like out of all of them, this is one of the most interesting ones. And then we have 
Armen. And this is again a shimmering almond red. So where we had the first two lip glosses that were relatively plain, the last two have fabulous either silver flakes or in this case, golden shimmers. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I mean, I have to hand it to Game Beauty. They really care about the IP that they have. It's clear that they are beyond familiar with the source material. They've really thought through everything that they're doing here. I can actually see all of these shades and where they've come from the show. It makes a huge amount of sense. In terms of makeup, I, I'd kind of struggle probably to use each of these quads in isolation, but that's because I'm not wildly creative in that sense, which is fine. But I think this is again more of a collector's edition sort of thing. And in that sense, 10 out of 10, I feel like they did this extremely well. It's also not wildly expensive considering you obviously you have to pay for IP. Like that's a whole thing. But they've kept it down. Like I said, if you want to get the whole thing with the gift box, it's $106. If you don't want the gift box, it's $96. Which in my mind, isn't actually the worst when you're getting four lip glosses and three quads. I've definitely seen a lot more expensive out there. So let me know what you guys think. A, do you like Attack on Titan? If you haven't seen it, highly recommend that you do. B, if you do like Attack on Titan, do you think that this is a good fit? And if you don't know Attack on Titan, there's so many questions from me. Do you like this collection just as it is? Not knowing the source material. Because I don't know if I would if I didn't. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, let me know down below what you guys think.